Finding the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient takes a little bit more than Pearson's. So we use the bolded information for Pearson. For Spearman's rank correlation coefficient, as the name suggests, we need to find the rank. So we need to list these either in descending or ascending order from one to however many numbers there are. So I'm going to go in descending order, which means my largest number, so in teaching experience years, my largest number is 11. So that's going to be rank one. My lowest years of teaching experience are 3.4, so that's going to get rank eight. My highest teaching performance mark is 91, so that's going to get rank one. And the lowest one is 65, so that's going to get rank 8. So then we go just from there. So 8, that was my lowest. If I find my second lowest, it seems to be 5.6. So that's going to be 7. And then we have 5.8, 6, 5. Oh, so look at 6, 2. So we have 6, 2. So this would technically be, say, five spot five and four. So what we actually do is we split the difference. So we give this rank 4.5. We give this rank 4.5. And then we just don't include these two ranks. So the next rank I'm going to give is going to be rank three. So that's going to be three and two. So one is my highest, eight is my lowest. So here, 91 is my highest, rank one. And then we have 87, two, three, looks like four, five, six, seven. And then the steps are pretty similar to Pearson's product momentum correlation coefficient. Now we're going to take these new ranks with teaching rank still being X and teaching performance still being Y. And we're going to put those into our calculator. So in one, we're going to have seven, three, two, 4.5, six, one, 4.5, eight. And in column two, we're going to have our Y ranking. Four, three, eight, two, seven, six, one, five, and then the steps are the same. So we're going through them again, just so you can remember. Calc, we want to do a regression. Specifically, we want to do a linear regression. This is the best form, although either form will give you the answer. So this is the form the IB prefers. And there we have it. This R is now our RM. So this should be, and I apologize, find R. S. So we would say that Rs equals 0 0.814.